We, like you, have often wondered what actually happens a bag of clothing once it's donated to a charity shop. We're here at the Bernardo Sorting Centre to find out exactly that. We're going to be chatting to the people who do the sorting and find out what happens to an item of clothing once it's first donated to when it finally ends up on the shop floor. We're also going to find out the benefits that a charity shop brings to the local economy and to everybody involved in the process. So come with us. So we're here in the Bernardo Sorting Centre with Bernadette to figure out what happens clothing once it's donated. With our vans we would put out over 3,000 bags a week, just a, a green bag, a Bernardo's green bag that would come through your door at home and we collect those and they go to directly to our shops. We also have very kind donors that come along with donations directly and they're brought to the shop. So the first thing we do is we would go through each bag and sort what's saleable, what isn't and determine that. So the first items that we know aren't saleable will go for recycling and are packed up to go to our recycling uh, company. And that all happens here? That all happens here. And then the items that are saleable, we'd steam everything, then we would price it, size cube it and put it on the sales floor. We would quarantine all stock for 72 hours before we touch it at all at the moment due to COVID. So we have a waiting process so everything is absolutely safe. And it would be on the sales floor for in and around a week and we would then take off the items that haven't sold well because we have a new influx of items coming all the time. We would resort the stock again and look at that and say, well, that didn't work in this shop, but maybe it will work in that shop. Then once that's gone to that shop and maybe it hasn't worked after that week, which doesn't happen often, but let's say it does, it would then come back again and then it would be packed for recycling. And then like when you're sorting, is there kind of like any guidelines that you follow? Like are you just all up to date on brands? Um, well yeah, the girls would have a very good idea around branding um, and different labels and what's popular, what isn't. Uh, we try and make sure the, the girls have an awareness um, seasonally, what colours are coming in. And so then what are some of the problems that you guys are facing right now? Well certainly we've been affected by Covid, so we would have a lot of our volunteers who are saying we haven't left you, but we're not coming just now. What we're being donated, the quality of what we're being donated, and our inability to sell these items because they've been worn that are not good quality after being worn two or three times fast fashion wise. Uh, we would really love to get good quality brands rather than fast fashion. Um, we would be thrilled to receive those items. Yeah, so when we're talking to people a lot, and especially over COVID with loads of people doing kind of clear outs of their wardrobe and whatnot, mm -hmm. they were asking us like, what do I do with all this clothing that I don't want anymore? Mm -hmm. And what we were saying was um, to separate your clothing when you're donating it to a charity shop between sellable items and items that aren't sellable and kind of more so for clothing recycling. If you did write on your bag, not suitable for sale, you know, but great for textiles. We can just put that to one side and know we can send that direct to the recyclers. And you'll still get money for it? Absolutely. We'll so it's still, still money. money going to charity. So how, if people are looking to donate clothing, how is the best way to give it to Bernardo's? Okay, well, what would be lovely is if you could have the clothes washed, clean, and, you know, not really to give us items that you wouldn't wear yourself, but, you know, that is still in relatively good condition, that you could see somebody else wearing it, but maybe you're a bit tired of it. And maybe remember that it's a human who's handling it at the, at the other end of the line, so no, they don't want to be picking up dirty items. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then yeah. maybe like find it. What's the best thing that's ever come through these doors? A few years ago, in one of our shops, we, we there was on the news at the time about cash in the curtains. I don't know if people remember that. We, yeah. we found um, a bag with quite a significant amount of cash um, in, uh, attached to a pair of curtains, a little cloth bag stitched. And we, we recognised this little bag. We appealed to people um, about the owner uh, to come forward. And the person who took in the curtains remembered the owner. So when that person came forward, we could make sure that that was given back to the right person. So through donations, people donating their clothing and it ultimately being sold on, how much revenue does Bernardo's make from that? Well, last year we made just under a million in turnover for wow. our, across our nine shops. Yeah. And would you have any idea of how much clothing you have prevented from going to landfill? Again, last year it was in and around 90 tonnes that 90 we tons. saved going to landfill. She's doing tons. the maths quickly now, I imagine that's about it was. That's about, about 75 cars. Oh my god, that was quick maths. The weight of 75 cars. That's amazing. So like it's, 
it's beneficial at every kind of stage of production. It's obviously for charity, it saves clothing going to landfill. So we work with in and around 21,000 children and families within Ireland. The money that we raise through our charity shops helps the organisation provide that work, vital work with children and families. So if you want any more information, you can find it all at www.bernardo.ie. Absolutely, and thank you. It's been a pleasure, girls. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. For any of you brides to be out there, Bernardo actually have two wedding rooms, one in Wexford and one in Dunleary. So it's full of never before worn, gorgeous dresses, veils, tiaras, everything you need for your big day.